Welcome back, YouTube Pie Smokers. This is Spurgeon Settings, joining you on a Tuesday afternoon. And uh, I am quite beat. Um, it's early in the in the week, and it's just been busy. Um, been a lot going on, especially today. And uh, been a uh, Doing some visitations, uh, visiting some folks, some of the elderly of the church, those who aren't able to get out, those who aren't able to be, or aren't able to listen to the live stream service um, that I do on Sunday mornings. And so I actually copy them on CDs and I visit them and and, and do do that for them. So it's been quite quite busy with that. Uh, so this is going to be a quick video. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to get out this week just because of a, all that's planned, but I wanted to do a review of Crumble Cake by Sutliff, uh, Crumble Cake Red Virginia to be more specific. I know Sutliff came out with Crumble Cake Red Virginia, uh, Crumble Cake Red Virginia with Perique, and one more, I believe it is, I'm actually looking it up right now, Crumble Cake English. Uh, so this blend, uh, to give you kind of the 10 note description, is aged for red Virginias pressed into a vintage crumble cake, providing an exceptionally sweet and smooth smoke. Um, I agree with that description quite well. I think it really captures what they're going after and, and what it is. Uh, I've been smoking that today at least out of my uh, Peterson 307 system, one of my favorite pipes that I have, um, I, and I've been quite enjoying it. Uh, I do have some here in a jar that I put it in, down there, That's um, you can't really see much there, so let me pull some out for you. So it comes in two cakes, so that's what it comes in right there. Uh, the cakes are larger. The cakes are more brownish um, in length, and uh, and it is fermented like crazy. I mean, the you you if I if you didn't know what this was, and I just said, hey, take a sip of this mason jar, you thought I uh, poured vinegar into a a jar maybe with some sweetness you know I threw some sugar into that jar with it and that's what you have maybe maybe some dirt with it now it probably doesn't sound appetizing um, or nice but it, it actually is with the blend um, but that's what you get some earth some dirt uh, sweetness and vinegar with with some hay because it's a virginia and so you get you get the hay like notes of that's typical of virginias um i would say there's some there are some uh bright bright virginias into the, that are that are placed into this and um, you can see it in the in the cakes and it does sh show up in the smoke as well so guys i actually smoked this right before i started this video i just ended it so i'm not going to be smoking this while I uh, review this blend, but I have the description down. Um, I can tell you that the fermented vinegar notes are incredibly at play here. Um, it, it is, uh, the, you know, what they were going for with a vinegar um, or, or an aged Red Virginia uh, blend, they hit on that. They hit it well. Um, this is a highly reviewed and highly um, praised blend on TobaccoReviews.com. It is a 3.8 out of 4. That's that's pr incredibly pr uh, impressive. Uh, I don't see a lot of grass, hay, or citrus notes out of this. Um, it, it's mostly uh, dark, fruity notes, as you would expect from a, a Red Virginia blend, but they are very deep. Um, and that it does have that aged uh, uh, character of it. So uh, this is a, an aged Red Virginia blend. It is superior to other Red Virginias I've tried out there. Um, and so they have hit that. I have seen this compared to 
McClellan's 5100 blend. Some of you guys have tried that. I never tried McClellan's 5100 blend, um, but many of you have, and that is a highly praised blend itself. So if you have tried 5100 and you're really searching for something for a replacement, this might be it. Uh, I've seen many people compare it to this, and it's not exactly identical, but it's very close from what I've been told. Uh, but this is a, a deep blend. For you who are new to pipe smoking, I think this is a safe blend, Virginia blend, for you to try. Most Virginia blends, most vapors, are tough to, to begin with. Uh, they get hot quickly. Uh, they give you a, a nasty tongue bite if you're not careful because they're high in sugar. And so usually for newer pipe smokers, you need to stay away from Virginia blends in the very beginning. Uh, straight Virginia blends, heavy Virginia blends. Uh, this is when I say you might be okay with trying. Um, is it, It's quite cooler and probably because of the aged um, character of it um, that has calmed it down. Um, there are some aspects of the, of the red flake, the Carolina red flake, I think, that are in this um, as well. And, and, I, and the, the nicotine hit is, is about mild to medium. So you're not going to get hit with a lot of nicotine either. Um, I haven't seen any, um, any excess of nicotine on this. Um, an average number of lights. Uh, and it's just a deep flavor, very consistent from top to bottom. Um, you just think of, of Virginia without any addings, and it sounds kind of bland or tiresome. This one keeps me incredibly satisfied all throughout the smoke. Um, and this is one I keep around. I, I just put in my rotation. I took out one of my uh, one of my Virginia blends out of my rotation. I put this in, and it's one I'll probably keep in for a little bit. I, I did order several of these, and uh, I'll probably finish out this this jar before I take it out of my rotation. So guys, that's a quick video. Um, if you have questions about it, uh, feel free to, to ask me and um, I'll, I'll be happy to give you any more information you may need. But that's all I'm going to add today. Um, I'm tired. I'm going to go eat. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your week and we'll talk to you guys soon. Y'all take care.